So I'm going to be fixing this trailer. These uh, cross members are uh, coming off. This one broke. When we got this trailer, it had just these angle irons. And I don't know who put these in here, but they were kind of bent down. So at the time, we put these uh, rectangular square tubing pieces in here and uh, made them straight. As you can see where the angle iron was bent. Well, anyway, they're starting to come apart. So I'm gonna cut all these out from this one back. I'm going to put in a uh, four inch channel iron, which uh, channel iron will be like the six inch uh, frame here. And I'm going to weld them across there and re screw the wood down and get rid of these because you know, they're just not holding anymore. And all in the skid steer there, I'm going to put them every uh, 12 inches up to here, and that ought to fix that for good. So, anyway, we're going to be working on that I was using a step bit to drill these holes and then I remembered we had this mag drill so I thought yeah I'm gonna use this so what this is it's got a magnetic base you turn the power on and it locks into place it's got cutting oil on it and uh, these bits here so we got the magnet turned on I'm gonna drill this hole it's way faster <laughs> All right, so while I got this flipped over, we're gonna replace these uh, equalizer pivot pins and do the uh, spring eye bolts and then the uh, slipper bolts. We put these axles on here in 2013, so I'm gonna go ahead and change them out while we're here. These uh, equalizer bolts weren't too bad. Uh, I did the other side, but where these slipper springs go on there, those are getting kind of worn on the other side. So we're going to swap them out while we got it here. And uh, these new ones I got are greasable, so that's good. That'll help keep it from wearing. So we're going to remove all these.
Well, these pins aren't that bad, but let me go ahead and throw some new ones in there. These pins, you gotta drive them out because they're they're machined to where you hammer them in, to where they don't spin. These have a plastic bushing in them, you gotta drive out. I got some new ones to put in there. What?
that one got welded on crooked or So once you get all your pins and bushings in, you're going to want to drive these back in with the hammer on all them spring pins. Then you're going to tighten these down. You just want them snug because you don't want them too tight that they're squeezing this uh, metal together. Otherwise, your suspension can't really articulate good. So when you put these in, just get them snug. So by that having those teeth on it, driving it in, if this ever came loose, that should hold it um, from the bolt coming out. I got all the old cross members out all the way up got the uh, trailer wiring finished up I put all these white LEDs in um, on all sides and then up here in front of the tires I should have done that originally whenever I uh, made this wiring harness but it was kind of an afterthought deal so anyway, we got all that hooked up. Now I'm going to take the channel iron over there, cut it for these and uh, get them welded in. So I got all these cut and set in here. So my other option is I'm going to go get one more 20 foot stick and, and put two more. And that'll be about right where my gloves are. 
in front of the axle on uh, one foot centers. So I don't know if I'm gonna leave this like it is since it really doesn't carry much weight or take the rest of those scraps and uh, weld them together and I could get six more and probably make it to right here. Or I notch this out, a, a square slot there and one there and weld those together across here and make a little place to put my pallet forks in like right here like a pallet fork holder so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i guess you'll figure it out by the end of this video so i'm gonna run to town and get one more stick of four inch Here. I'm gonna have to probably replace this wood in the next year or so because that one already broke and a couple of these look like they're starting to get pretty dry so I just decided to wait on this part and uh, I'll uh, either cut these out when I redo the wood so I think I'm just gonna hold off on that for now because I really need to get this trailer um, back up right so I can use it. But all of them are welded in. I got all the trailer wiring secured all the way down. Looks like a jumbled up mess, but it's all secured. Got all my white lights in, two there, two out there by the jack, and then four in the back. So now I'm going to flip this trailer back over, go get some screws to screw the wood down to these new cross members and get a new 2x6 for that middle part.
All right, I got it flipped back over. I'm waiting on another toggle switch to come in so I can hook up the uh, white underground lights right there. It's gonna be a toggle on and off. And then we're gonna go get a new board for that one right there and some screws. Once we get all that done, we'll call this project done. Now I got this old board out of here, so I'm going to cut this new one off and uh, put it in and then we're going to screw these down. This fixed. I uh, got all these screwed down, put some clear silicone in the old row where the screws kind of tore up the wood. So we'll let that dry. And we're gonna call this project done. All I'm waiting for now is the toggle switch for my underground lights. When the toggle switch comes in, I'll uh, have everything done other than painting this thing this spring so tonight when it gets dark I'll uh, turn on the white lights and we'll see what it looks like here's the white lights at night you can kind of pretty well see all the way around the trailer So if you're trying to hook up in the dark, pin this jack up, you can see down here. Then this is uh, sitting in the truck looking at the driver mirror. And you can see back there, you can see your tire. So if you're pulling into like a narrow gate, and you could uh, see your tires on both sides. All right, we got it loaded up. If it fits, it ships. One of y'all trailer manufacturers send me a new trailer.
running out of room. So this is one of the reasons why I put these uh, cross members every foot. You got one there, one there, all the way up to the last one right here. Hold the weight of this machine. So we're gonna go cut some brush and put in a culvert pipe.